Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sanjay Raj. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how to create this cool slideshow animation in just using JavaScript with a couple of lines of code, but it's kind of complicated. So this is how actually the demo does look. It's kind of very simple guys, but it's uh, essential that you you should be learning how slideshow works and how to create, so, uh, create a nice slideshow. Before we do get started guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below, just hit arrow for a few subscribers, thank you so much for all of you guys, also leave a like on this video, also comment down below what is your favorite JavaScript library and I'll make a video on that and let's get right into it. So let's get into the video guys, so I've got a couple of images, so I have this folder and the code link to the description, it might be a github code or anything. So I'll just get into this. This is a code which I'll leave to in the description down below. So I'll cre create a new folder called tut, uh, which is tutorial, uh, tutorial slideshow. Then I'll select that folder. Um, we are going to be having an index.html, style.css, and an app.js. So I'll create an index.html or style.css. And an app.js. So in the index.html, I'll put the exclamation mark and get the meta abbreviation. So I'm going to select slideshow. And one thing you should not forget is you should link this to a style sheet. And then I'll link this to the script as well. I'll say app.js. So inside the body, we're going to be just having one div with the class of slideshow so I'll say dot slideshow inside this we're going to be having all the images so where do I go and find the images so I'll get the images into my folder and get back with you guys so as you guys can see um, I've got the image folder right in the workspace so inside the image folder I've got around 11 images so obviously when it's a slideshow you don't want to bore the person with the same image again and again so inside the slideshow we are going to be having all the 11 images so I'll put image and then the source I'm going to put img slash one um, slash one dot one dot jpg so I should copy that and paste that a lot of times so I'm using shift alt and the down key so yes just need to change the values I'm just trying to doing, uh, do this as quickly as possible so you should also make it one more time like it's your preference guys if you guys have any other images you guys could use that as well so I'll go ahead and open this up with live server where you can actually see should put one dot jpg I guess you can see we got all our images right here obviously you can see it so let's go to style.css and style it a little bit. So I'm gonna give the basic styling. So I'll put margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing border box. You're, you're not gonna use a font, so I don't need a font family. So I'll say slideshow. I'll put the width to 100%. Want to change that to the image? You want to make all the images to have a width of total 100%. Um, why isn't the live server? So I'll remove get that out of the way. So as you guys can see, the width is 100% all over the images. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to do. But there's one main thing to do guys, so you want to add some classes. So I want to add a class of IMG here and also display because we are using doing a slideshow. So you want to toggle between the classes in order to say if it's display block or display none. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here in everything. And there's one cool technique that you, you, sh you could do in order to remove one thing from each like or all, all of it so I'll say I'll, I'll get display I'll put control D it's gonna select all of it I hit backspace and it's all gone so first one is going to be display so what we wanna do if 
if it's img we want to display it saying none and if it's saying dot display we want to display it saying block so as you guys take a look so the first one we have display so it's display block uh, the second one third one all the rest of them they don't have what do you say display so it's not it's not displayed obviously so i'll go to my app.js let's get started with app.js so i'll get the slideshow i'll say document dot query selector and i should get all of it because we want all of the image tags so let me actually console.log all the images for you guys i'll change this to images because these are actual images we just don't want to get the div because there's obviously no reason to just get the div so we were returned with a node list of all the different displays so that's 10 images but if you guys do see the zeroth uh, element in this node list has a class of display so what we want to do is we want to check if the current element has a class of display and we, then we want to pass it to the next element so that's so simple that's exactly what we're going to be doing so i have the code right here to the app.js which i'll leave to in the description down below so what we want to do is first of all we need a counter uh say slideshow animation so first of all we need a counter so I'll say var i equals 0 initially we want to set it to 0 because we want to check for the 0th element first and then I'll say function slideshow and then right inside this we want to have a uh, interval so we want to like do the slideshow function every 3 or 5 seconds so let's do that let's set an interval so just help you type set interval it will give you all this empty abbreviation we want to make this happen every second just for the sake of this tutorial so we want to first check if the images the current value has a class of display so how do you check it so you want to check um, you want to put if images i dot class name so as you guys can see if we get that if we get the zero element and if we scroll right down there's a lot of stuff so if you guys see there's some element called class name so that's exactly what we're going to be using the, we're going to be using the class name and the class list so if you see the class name is display so we want to remove the display from that and pass it to the next element so if I say the class name is equals to image display, uh, there's one one or couple of things you should do first. So we want to get the i uh, the class from that. Uh, no, you should remove the display. So um, dot class list dot remove. And what do we want to remove? We want to remove the display, the class of display. And then we want to pass it to the next element. So i plus 1, which is the next element. So you say class list dot add. Sorry. Class list dot add display. So every time this happens, it's going to add it to that display. So if you guys do see, it won't work because we did not call the function we have no event to be passed on so as you guys can see the 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 image just switched into the second one we had 10 images right so why didn't it switch to all 10 there's one problem because initially the i is 0 and then we are taking it to this section so 0 and it's 0 plus 1 so we are not incrementing it so from 1, one to 2 3 4 5 we are not incrementing it so what you want to do is this i plus plus or i equals to i plus one any of your like any anything you want to want to do so as you guys can see the slideshow is actually working 
is going as per what we want so if we actually do see if it goes to the last one after the last one it's, it doesn't work so how do we go about doing that and tackling how that is going to function so there's actually one thing that I did do to debug this uh, problem so I did the in, in, the last index of the last image is 10 so yeah, so I will say if i equals 10 and the images dot no, images i dot dot plus name is equals to img and display we want to make the i equals 10 and the image is 10 dot class list dot remove display guys I'll actually explain this I was spending around one hour doing this uh, well, not one hour 15 to 20 minutes so if you guys do see if i equals 10 and the images index index dot class name equals image display i equals 0 image 10 dot class day dot remove so what we're actually doing is if the index is the last image if the character is actually showing window is showing the last image and that image has a class name of image dot display uh, yeah if the class name has image dot display we want to set the index to zero and then remove the display class of the tenth element the tenth element is the last one so we want to remove the tenth one and we want to make the index zero so when it's finishing that if condition when it comes down it's gonna add the display as well like it's going to bring it back to the first one so there's no problem in that mm, I guess that's the like kind of the only problem that we had there if we do actually do check so goes until the ninth or the tenth element so as it goes to the tenth element it might change as you guys can see it's uh, pretty much changing so as you guys saw in the demo we did not have the slideshow like that we don't want it to be like that as well so do a couple of things to get that uh, proper so i'll get the height to 30 vh uh, what i want to do is uh, display it flex and you know, line item center and also justify content center so if you guys can see uh, the slideshow is probably working now this is not the ultimate slideshow that you guys are going to create but it's actually a starting point where you guys can learn about how the slideshow is actually working so that you guys can get on with the css styling animations and all kind of stuff so i'll leave a link uh, to the code right in the description guys and also thank you so much for 150 subscribers guys i can just appreciate it so much and um i'll actually be doing a surprise video for 150 subscribers so thank you all of you guys if you guys haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe make sure to subscribe guys don't miss out so get to 200 subscribers at the end of the month and i'll see you guys in the next one peace